In this problem, we're given a sequence and we're asked to determine whether it converges or diverges um, as we go farther and farther out in the, um, in the sequence, so as n goes to infinity. So in order uh, to determine the convergence or divergence of any sequence, all we need to do is look at the limit uh, as n goes to infinity of uh, the general term, of the, of the nth term of the sequence, so 5 plus 3n over n. Well, we can simplify this and break this into two terms. So this is the limit of 5 over n plus 3n over n. So here the n's cancel out. And we can use linearity of the limit to write this as the limit as n goes to infinity of 5 over n. Actually, we can just pull out the 5. Uh, plus limit as n goes to infinity of, well, we canceled out the n, so we're just left with 3. Well, the first limit is n goes towards infinity. This bottom is just going to get larger and larger and larger. Uh, this is just, the whole term is going to go to 0. So 5 times the limit uh, is 5 times 0, so this just goes to 0. Well, the limit as n goes to infinity of 3 is, well, just 3. There's no n involved, so it's always 3. So we have 0 plus 3, and the limit is 3, which means that it does converge. And like we just determined, the uh, limit, or it converges to limit 3.